was the one Hollywood tradition the late king of pop, Michael Jackson, never got the chance to do. But on Thursday, his children, Prince, Paris, and Blanket, cemented their father's legacy using one of his famous sequined gloves and a pair of shoes and a slab of wet cement outside Grauman's Chinese Theater in front of a throng of media and fans from around the world. Michael, we miss you. Friends and family were also on hand to pay tribute to the late superstar. Music legends Smokey Robinson and Quincy Jones recounted fond memories they enjoyed with Jackson. And current celebs Justin Bieber and Glee's Harry Shum Jr. talked about how the man who taught the world to moonwalk influenced their lives. Uh, as a dancer myself, it was so incredible to watch him for the first time and see what he is able to do with dancing. Everything I do, I, I look at Michael and I'm like, I want to be, you know, as good as he was. Go rock around to the rhythm, go rock tonight. The hour-long ceremony was streamed around the world via Twitter and was highlighted with numerous video tributes and song and dance renditions of some of Jackson's hits, including a vibrant flag-waving closer from Cirque du Soleil, which presented the event to help inaugurate its upcoming Michael Jackson Immortal World Tour. Michael was here, he would agree. To see all the friends and loved ones, and especially his fans here, to celebrate this weekend. Throughout his career, Jackson was famous for being tirelessly devoted to his fans, and having his hand and footprints forever accessible to his fans is something his brother Tito knows he would have loved. Very important, for not just for the fans, but for uh, the family and Michael's kids, too. Uh, and it's a, it's a good thing. It feels good. It's a bittersweet. You remember Michael, you, you get sad. But to see the love in our court, we know that he's here with us today. And the fans who came to witness the event firsthand feel the same way. I have grown up with Michael Jackson. I have been a fan for years. And just to see something like this, I never got the chance to see him in person. So just having this here is something very important. And it's so close to your heart. Jackson joins the 200 plus stars who have made their mark in cement in the Grauman's forecourt, a tradition that started over 80 years ago with silent film legends Mary Pickford and Douglas Fairbanks. However, he is the first celebrity to have ever done so posthumously. In Hollywood, Scott Edwards, CBSNews.com.